Hey, what's going on guys? John here, and today we're actually going to be taking a look at the ZBT Link AX1800. So this is actually a uh, wireless Wi-Fi 6 router. In this video, what I'm gonna do is actually unbox the router, we'll take a look at all the components it came with, and then I'm actually going to hook this up to my existing network, and we can take a look at some of the settings just so you get some idea of what to expect working with this. So let's start with the unboxing, we can actually see what's inside. So we have the main router here. We'll take a look at this first. So this actually has um, really, really large antennas. Um, the existing Wi-Fi 6 router that we have probably has antennas, I would say, that are um, quite a bit shorter than this. So this is probably gonna get some serious range. We have a 4G, 5G connection here on the side. There's basically a button for connecting that here. And then um, on the back, basically, uh, technically, I guess this would be the front, you have all of your different LEDs that are gonna light up based on um, connectivity. So like internet connection, whether or not you're connected, any of your ports, the system's up and running, you have power, so on and so forth. Um, going on to the back side, you can actually install a SIM card in this. So if you wanted to utilize a phone network with this, this is something you can do, um, which is actually really cool. Um, so let's say maybe you were traveling or you ended up in a scenario where maybe you um, you know, were in a power outage and you had some backup power, but you could utilize your phone's um, existing SIM uh, to plug in. You could basically connect this utilizing your phone's network with that SIM card. Um, so this is something I haven't seen in too many routers that I've checked out in the past. You have a mesh button here, so you can use this to connect to other devices as needed. You have your three LAN ports and then your WAN port as well as your um, power connection here. And then there's also the RST. So um, that's pretty much it. You do have these additional antennas on the sides. Um, so this is basically just for uh, installing the additional antennas. They didn't include these hooked up, but this actually has a total of six antennas. So these are the extra ones here. So these simply just go on to the sides, so we'll connect these here now. So these just spin on, very simple, and you just make sure it's tight, and then you can twist the base here, and then this comes up. So I'm gonna do this on both sides. And same thing, we twist this, and then there we go. So as you can see, this is gonna have some serious coverage. Um, it does include a small ethernet cable, pretty straightforward. And then you also have um, what appears to be some hardware, so you could probably use this for mounting this as needed. If we look at the bottom, you can see there's small um, screw holes going all throughout. So these can actually be used for mounting hardware if you decide you wanted to mount this like on a wall or something like that. Um, so here is actually um, a nano SIM adapter. So this is basically um, adapter cards that you could use. You can put your SIM card into these and it allows you to basically adapt them to be able to fit into the actual router. So it's really good that they include this. There's a little um, quality control card here just to show that it's past quality control. And then you have your, your uh, manual here. So this just kind of shows going through and utilizing the SIM card, installing that, connecting it to your network putting in the Wi-Fi address um, by default on the back of the router, it gives you like an IP and a uh, user and password to connect to the interface. So we'll show that here in a bit. Um, I'll show where I set this up and just give you some idea of how this all kind of connects together. And then you have your standard power cable here. So pretty straightforward. I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up and then I'm actually gonna show you um, this hooked up and then we'll just take a look at the interface on the actual uh, router itself. All right, so just as a simple test here, I've gone ahead and taken the network cable and plugged it directly into my computer. I then have the power cable plugged into a power strip I have over here. And on the bottom of the router, it has an admin um, password that you can use to log into the configuration. So that's mainly what I wanted to show you. Um, so basically, um, once you're actually in here, you go to the IP address by default, it's 192.168.1.1. And then basically you get this whole interface that you could use. So here I can actually see any of the um, ports that are connected. Um, right now we're not connected to the internet because I haven't actually installed a SIM card, but I just wanted to show you the interface. 
you get an equipment status, any traffic information. You can see the wireless status of any devices that are connected. You have both your interface status for WAN and LAN connections. Then you can go into all of your um, network settings here. So essentially you can switch between all of your different protocols. Right now you can see we're simply just connected with one device, my main computer here. You can do all of your 3G, 4G, or LTE settings. So this will actually give you some idea of your signal strength and any settings that you need for the actual SIM card. You have all of your LAN settings here. So this will actually show you, um, in this case, obviously we're just connected directly to the PC. We have all our DHCP settings, so we can set IP ranges. You can see I'm connected to my computer um, at dot .144, and it shows how long it's been connected. We can do different settings here. You have static route settings. So this gives you different interface um, choices that you can do between um, LAN, WAN, WAN 6, so on and so forth. You have some terminal settings in here. So this basically shows you any connections. There's a TTL section. So this also gives you um, additional options here. You have all of your Wi-Fi setup over here on the left. So you can set up an SSID uh, under the 2.4 gigahertz. Um, or the five gigahertz network. So you can set these up separately, set up your encryption, pretty standard for a router. Then you have all of your power adjustment as needed. Um, this basically will give you any sort of, um, you know, connection mode settings, like for energy savings, things like that. There's some other topology um, settings here if you connect the additional mesh devices. And then you also have advanced settings. You can do all of your security, DMZ hosts, dynamic DDNS, network watching, parent, parental controls, uh, blacklists, anything like that. You also have service application settings. So you can set up like different cloud settings with um, various things here, like you've cloud management and other settings associated with that. Under systems management, you have all of your firmware settings. So you can do updates as needed, um, do remote upgrades, online upgrades, backups, um, check system logs, reboots, anything like that that you need to know. So th this is very detailed in terms of all the systemized tools that you would need. And then you also have some basic system tools you could use for like network diagnosis. So this is a very well thought out router. I think probably the biggest draw with something like this is if you were looking for specifically a router that could work um, not only for Wi-Fi 6, but also with the LG, um, you know, an LTE network. So you could simply connect a phone based SIM and that's going to give you network connectivity without necessarily being connected to an online internet service provider. So um, overall, I'm happy with this um, router. I think it's got some nice features. You have all the large antennas, so you're gonna get really good range on this. And you have the ability to switch between full 2.4 and five gigahertz networks. Anyway, thanks for checking out my video review. Hopefully you found this helpful and I will talk to you later.